Welcome to episode one of All the Mod 7. I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is I haven't found Knuckle yet. The good news is I did not make these slippers out of him. Let's get started. My first piece of All the Modium ore. You can find this stuff in the mountain regions above Y170. You need another right pickaxe to mine it. And this one happens to have fortune. I don't know if it does anything better for you, though. Let's try. Pack is called all the mods. This is all the modium. And there's not a reward for that. Jeej. One netherite pickaxe. Almost broken. And we got 11 pieces of all the modium ore. One mountain is now missing. We can use sticks. That'll repair. Our pickaxe. Uh, 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 right, now that our pick's in better shape, uh, buy some diamonds. Uh, 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 They're willing to sell, huh, bud? We need to fix that. Check this thing out. This is the first time I've seen this. This is called a salvager from Silent Gear. So the way this works, you can take anything not anything. You can take armor, pop it in here, and it gives you back whatever you use to make the armor. So this is my free diamond farm. Trading for sticks. Not bad, huh? And also iron and leather. Let me show you what else I got going on. We got a little bit of a create setup over here. Put a windmill on top of an existing building because I thought it looked cool. We had to clear that out though. The people in there were not so friendly. And brought the rotational force down here. Also got a little janky setup over here for mechanism to get started because ultimately I really just wanted to make this a charging station. But in order to get to that point, you got to do all this other stuff to kind of keep this a viable source. Last thing I did was I played with this new mod that I've never seen before. It's pretty sweet. It's called. It's called Little Logistics. There's tugboats and rail cars. We can't see the tugboat right now, but I have an energy tug out there. There's a book in the pack right here. Little Logistics Guide. It breaks you down on how to use this setup. It is a little janky. Once the tugboat comes in, I'll show you why. These are the couple tips that I have though. There's these things, vessel corner guide rails. You need these on both sides of where you want your ship to dock or else that thing will not pull in there. Barge docks, I have two of them here. They're gonna unload fish traps. When you see the barge, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And then this is a tug dock. The tug will pull in, stop here. This vehicle charger, which is powered from mechanism windmills, will recharge the electric tug and they'll send it back out. Same thing. I did the same thing on this end to kind of get the tugboat out and around. And it has been working because before I added these, the tugboat would just sit here and try to go that way. And this block was in its way. Let me show you the tugboat. So far, I have two fish traps on here. And then a chunk loader, which is part of the mod as well. And this thing runs infinitely and it goes out and gets fish and other goodies for free. He's not the best driver though. Check this out. He looks a little drunk pulling into the dock. That's why you need these things. The vessel corner guide rails. Boom. He drops the stuff off. You get extra stuff too. Bows with enchantments that we might use later. You never know. And fishing rods with enchantments that we might use later. Also some books. But most of these have red writing on them. Which I think is bad luck. Except for some of them. Saddles. Ton of fish. I've had this thing running for a couple hours now. Maybe about four hours. And it's already loaded up on raw cod. Puffer fish, salmon, clownfish, you get name tags, and some nautilus shells. These things are very slow to come in. 
along with these other enchanted items. But, and the other thing is, in this pack, there is no storage drawers, I guess, for 118.2 yet. So they use these things. Oak drawers from functional storage. I've never used these before. But I put a void upgrade in this one. And it's maybe these pipes that are feeding the items out of this chest don't know that it can feed more in there to get voided or the drawer doesn't function the way I thought it would. So I had to add this a logistical sorter and this thing is taking out the cod and putting them in a trash can for now because we needed food for knuckle. We just got to find them. All right, let's get to processing this raw, all the modium ore. So over here, I just have a create setup for ore processing. Put stuff in here, boom, goes through the crushing wheels, turns it into dust. And then underneath here, I have five fans with lava on top of them. When this ore gets crushed, it turns to dust. Those fans smelt the ore down and hopefully turn this all the modium into actual ingots that we can use. There's a couple things I want to do in today's episode. We want to establish a mining dimension. There goes the Aldemodium, but it won't go through the filter because why? I have problems in Little China, but we can fix it. We need the Aldemodium and we need the filter. We're going to add an item in here. Boom. We don't want, we want that. Add you. We have two. We have ingots and all the modium. Apparently, all the modium isn't an ingot. My thing. There you go. Boom. You go on there. You go in there. Pick it up now. Most certainly do. Sweet. Let's make this mining dimension. And we're going to make this thing my favorite tool ever in Minecraft that I've used in all the mods packs is a mining. We needed all the modium to make this. It's called a teleport pad. There's two places you can put these. One is in the overworld and you can put another one in the nether and then that one will take you to a scary dimension. But we're not going there just yet because we're not geared up enough for that. But we're going to open up the mining dimension right now. Make this mining laser. See what's over there. Boom, we got a mining gadget. Doesn't really do anything yet. We need to charge it. That in there. Let this thing charge up. This is gonna die. That's okay. Teleport pad, you put down on the ground. And then I think it's shipped right click. I'll let you know when I do it. But another thing I suggest to do, because this is a new pack, is you want to set your home. So in order to do that hit backslash set home base and then give it a name i called mine home hit enter done deal so then if you get stuck somewhere you can just go slash home and it takes you home easy peasy let's grab this mining gadget let's go visit it's already charged sweet i don't have any upgrades whatsoever in there but we're just gonna run with it see what happens go Go. There you go. Shift, right click, takes you into this mining. All this. Get back. In other, all the mods packs that I've played, there's no bad guys here that spawn up here. I hit F7. It never gets dark here. And I don't think there's anything else here. I could be wrong. Because it is a new pack. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my Botania here. Not in today's episode. In the future. Today we're going to work on just getting a mob farm going. Because we're going to need a lot of resources to play this pack. Iron and diamonds is one of them. And I think I can use a mob farm to get them. Done a little bit of mining in the mining dimension to get materials that we need for our mob farm. And maybe it's just me, but there seems like there's a little bit of an imbalance here. 
You get a lot of copper in 118 Minecraft. But let's get started on our mob farm, shall we? I'm going to put it on this island over here. I'm going to use mob grinding utilities to make this thing happen for now. And then I plan on adding spawners and other things on top of it. And perhaps surrounding all of this inside of a lighthouse, maybe. We're going to use mob fans to push the mobs. Here's the reason why they're all going to send them this way. This one is going to send them this way and they're going to land on top of a mob masher. We can power with the redstone. We now have a box, which we're high. And dark enough for mobs to spawn, but I added a redstone lamp here so we can kill it when needed. That will obviously be on the top. What I need to do now is we need to find a chicken and we need to make some of this. The one problem to make this GM chicken feed, you need four buckets of XP. So how are we going to get that? We're going to take this thing here, XP drain singularity tank. And if we stand on top of it, it's going to drain our XP. And hopefully we have enough for four buckets. Boom. All right, one GM chicken feed coming up. Get our buckets back. How nice. Go find a chicken. Still haven't found a chicken, but this is pretty cool looking right about here. I build on a beach. Maybe these guys have a chicken. You got a chicken, bud. He doesn't seem happy with me. And her face. <laughs> you guys have a chicken. That's all I want to know. Do you have a chicken? They're saying no. I don't know. You seen any chickens? Finally. My man. I have something for you. Here you go. Thank you. All right. What we need to do now with our rotten egg is put it on the dirt. Gives you five by five of dreadful dirt, but I want to wait for this sun to go down. While we're doing that, ow. Rid of you. We don't need you. We have these mob masher upgrade. We're going to put a looting and a sharpness in the mob masher. Now the sharpness should make it so when endermen spawn in here, this one shot kills them and we don't have to worry about them teleporting out of here. And we should be good to rock and roll. Got to put some levers on these fans. Do every other one. This one. And we'll also put a lever on our redstone. And we just got to wait for nighttime. We're going to use an absorption hopper to pick up all the drops going to send items one way and hopefully the XP that we get another way. Put the absorption hopper right here. Now, if we look at this, we can show the area that it'll pick up from. We want to cover that box and have it pick up from there that way. And now we are Now, nope. <laughs> okay, buddy. We are now covering our whole box. So anything that this mob master drops should get picked up by our absorption hopper. This absorption hopper will also pick up XP orbs and the drops. So we're going to take the orbs. We're going to send them that away. What way is that away? I don't even read this thing anymore. All the other stuff east. Okay. So west, we're sending fluid. East, we're sending items. We're going to go 
Fluid pipe. Not fluid pipe. That is just too strong, you know? Into singularity tank. And we can pull it with a wrench. We're going to take the items. An item pipe. Same thing. Put them into a diamond oak. Catch that. Boom. It'll pull items that way. Hopefully. Turn this hover off. And get rid of this piece. Ow. Hopefully this works. Turn off this. We don't need to see this anymore. Hide the area. We're going to go inside now that it's dark out. We're going to put down a rotten egg. Then we're going to close the top off. I watched this. Thing. So it says a five by five area. Let's go. Right here. Boom. They didn't waste any. Oh, we get slime too. Very nice. Let's turn on a mob masher. And turn the fans on. We're getting stuff and things. I think that's what they say. Ton of slime. We don't need you in there. And XP. We're this thing's gonna fill up in no time. That only holds 32 buckets. But what I want to do is I want to add a dynamic tank to there, and that thing will hold millions of buckets. But for now, that'll do. That thing will run. We don't even need to be there. I think we're good to go. I want to say now is a good time to wrap up the episode, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. And peace.